welcome to vlogmas day three i just wanted to start off the day by going through a little bit of the christmas things that we have been buying um just last night because we went to um late night shopping and we just bought a few little bits and bobs that we needed so we are doing christmas cards for our families and inside we're gonna pop some scratchets in there so i just wanted to show that the cards that's for my sister these are for my grandparents and then this is for my parents and then we haven't bought um billy's family any cards yet hello yes we did buy end up buying billy's family christmas cards i'm gonna go through them now with you um, so we haven't really decided on who's getting what, but we wanted some really individual cards. So we bought, have a really good Christmas. Ha ha ha, funny. There's lots of Willies on there. We bought two of those because we thought of two people that could possibly like them. Um, seen that one. You've seen that one. This one was quite cool. It's just Santa's coat. And it's this tag that says property of Santa made in the North Pole. Um, that's really cute. You've seen that? And then we bought two of these with the decorations that you can actually hang on your tree. And that sounds like Billy. So I'll hurry this up. And then we actually decided that we would buy this for my parents and buy a stocking that goes with it. So that's for mum and that's for her tree. Yes. Enjoy the video. But I did also want to show these. We bought these for my mum because she bought a tree just like ours. So her decorations look very minimal. So she needs she needs a few more decorations on her trees. And I saw these and I really want them for myself because they are just so cute. They're tiny little robins. Look, look, they were $6.95, which is pretty good. Oh my gosh, and they, there's four of them. I'll put them out side by side so you can see the difference. There's one with a Santa hat, one with a scarf, one with a little a little beanie and then the last one has a little Christmas wreath they are so cute and we're gonna pop them in a little tin with mesh paper that looks like a nest so that's where they will live and I think we're gonna give them to her maybe on Christmas Eve I'm not sure I want to give them to her a lot sooner but Billy might not allow it because it's Christmas. Um, Billy hasn't opened his advent calendar yet. Um, he's left it for, for tonight, but let's see if it lasts that long. Um, it's still early, so I haven't really gotten ready for the day. I washed my hair yesterday and it's starting to become really sunny. So I'm thinking it'll be okay to straighten my hair and that reminds me, I got a, f um, I got my tools yesterday or the day before and I got my beads, the tiny beads, oh my god, I got the little tiny beads for the, um, hair tinsel yesterday, so I'll show you how small they are. Okay, we're in the spare room right now and I've got my little beads so i'm going to show you the size difference hopefully it'll work just the same as um the normal size beads i use but i just wanted a more discreet um look without having to tie them into my hair because that's just frustrating but <laughs> i realize that this is probably going to be just as frustrating trying to thread the um tinsel through but we can only try so here's the beads. So these bigger ones are what I was using and they're flattened out to be 
quite big, but these little tiny ones are what I was hoping would work a bit better. So they are for like hair extensions for like crimping and stuff. So hopefully they will work just as good. Okay, day one and two are uploading. They will be scheduled for nine o'clock. Good times. Now that that's done, I can start, but now it's really hot and I don't want to get all sweaty. Um, this is a very old strainer, so it's not as good as it used to be. It's probably like 12 years old, I think, that strainer. It's a GHD. It's like a super old one. But I did ask for one for Christmas, so we shall see what becomes of that on Christmas Day. I'm just gonna do the silver. I'm just gonna do the silver for now because I like it with the brown hair, it looks really cool. And then when I get the gold, I'll put more gold in and so on. So I shall get started now and get back to you. As you can see, I've got one in. So I have been doing this. I don't know even know how long I've been doing this right now, but I've got like one under here somewhere. There it is. And I'm just gonna say, like, it's very difficult to get on this tool. I don't know why I bought this stupid tool, but I feel like it's just very difficult. So I've gotta use like two sets of pliers just to like pull this tiny little bead on because it, it kind of, you have to force it on there. And then my hands get so slippery, so I get really frustrated. But I will admit, like it looks a lot better. So that's it there. Yeah, so that's the bead there. It's crimped. It's not com coming out, but it looks a lot more natural. Like you can't see. It looks much better. I'm very happy with it, but I've just got to figure out a way to make it a bit easier. Um, yeah. So we'll see how I go with that. Let's just go. It's quarter to nine now, so we'll see how long it takes me. Okay, it's tw uh, almost half nine, so that took about 45 minutes to put in. How many more did I put in? I think I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven more in. And I got used to it pretty good. So it's just the silver. I've got three on each side and then two at the back. I managed to put two at the back. But once I get the gold, I think I'll kind of put them between the silver. But for now, that shall do. It looks good enough. And I'm not sure if I have to... Oh, yeah, I have to trim a few of them. But, yes, I'm happy with that. Um, I managed a system that worked pretty well. So I just got the beads, the little tiny beads, and then I tied halfway the tinsel onto the bead so it wouldn't slip around. And then I was just able, I threaded about four at a time onto this with the tinsel attached so I could just quickly slip it on my hair. But yeah, I got used to the tool. It was, it was okay. I just got um, a bit frustrated because some the... The bit is a bit, too, a little bit too big, but I've got pliers and managed to figure it out. So that's all done. So yay, Vlogmas day three. Got my hair tinsel, and I do want to do Christmas nails, but I don't know. Maybe I'll go out for lunch, get some, get some nails or something, because I don't want to go to the shop and get them done because I don't like. The filing. The filing is the worst bit. And because they don't really care, they always like nick my finger and it hurts. So, just being a baby, but I'd rather do it myself. So, we'll see where the day takes us now that I've got my hair tinsel in. Yay! It's 11 30 now. I've just been sitting at my desk listening to some Christmas songs and um, downloading some Christmas songs. And I just got a, another parcel. So 
I honestly have forgotten what this one is. I've gotten a lot, but I just really can't remember what um, I've ordered now. So it's safe to say I'm just going to open up everything on camera, just in case it has got something to do with Christmas. Um, I'm just going to use these to open it. Maybe. <laughs> oh, no way! Look, it's my gold tinsel! Look at it. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, now I've got to get all my stuff back out to put it in. All right, I'll do it now. Okay, I've just been putting in the gold. And it looks so cute. Like, it looks really cool with the gold in there. I haven't done this side yet, but I think... I'll just do a little bit more before I go overboard. But it looks really fun and Christmassy and I love it. Okay, I did put the other side in. But these little beads, they're probably like the worst thing I've ever done. Because <laughs> when I crimp them, it's like... Because they don't have the little silicon center like the other ones do. It kind of like cuts my hair a little bit. But... And they're a little bit difficult to get back out because I did one like down here just to see if I could crimp it the other way to get it out and I can't really so we're just gonna have to let these babies grow out or fall out we shall see but oh well beauty is pain there's been a there's been a change I was saying to my dad today that I've started just doing the laundry inside because outside I know there's like a massive wasp out there and I'm petrified so I don't want to go out there. So I've been doing the laundry inside because I'm like, oh, like it's great. There's no wasps inside. And then I came into the bathroom and there is a freaking wasp in the window. I'm not sure how close I'll be able to zoom, but you can see it crawling on the window here. Up it goes. I've trapped it in the window so it can't get out, but we don't have a door. So I'm like, I've <laughs> still zoomed in. Ah! So I've like locked myself in my bedroom and now I'm gonna go out and get lunch and then lock myself back in the room because I don't wanna deal with that. Yeah, so it's not safe. It's not safe at my house. I don't. It's not okay. I'm not okay.